What's up there my fellow Royal fans, welcome back to the channel for your latest installment of Royal News. William is said to have created his last in legacy in recent months, after launching the Earthshot Prize with national hero and conservationist Sir David Attenborough. The award will go to entrepreneurs who come up with eco-friendly solutions to the world's greatest challenges over the next 10 years and dish out £50 million in the process. The Duke of Cambridge also showed his passion for conservation in particular when the ITV documentary Prince William, A Planet for Us All aired earlier this year. The second in line to the throne darts around the globe to investigate what is causing the climate crisis and also potential solutions in the program, but is caught off guard when visiting an ivory store in Tanzania. Tusks have a street value of £50 million there, and the astounding collection shows impounded ivory. William is seen tearing up at the mind-blown pile of 43,000 tusks, and this is not the first time he's been vocal about ivory. The Royal reportedly told zoologist and family friend Dr. Jane Goodall that he wanted to see all the ivory owned by Buckingham Palace destroyed six years ago. According to royal author Robert Jobson, Charles occasionally feels duty-bound in wading when his sons are at risk of causing an upset. And so the heir went to have a frank exchange of views with his elder son over his disruption to the palace. While approaching his son's sentiment, Charles believes there is a vast difference between calling for action against illegal traders now and ordering Buckingham Palace to rid itself of an enormously important and historical collection of artifacts that form part of the Royal Collection Trust. William has been calling for the end of illegal wildlife trade for years and has been a patron of the conservation charity Tusk Trust since 2005. However, the Royal has been criticised as he is known to go hunting himself when staying on the rural Royal Estate such as Balmoral. William also found himself in hot water in 2016 after he claimed trophy hunting of animals could be excused if the animal was infertile at the end of his life and the hunter wanted to make donation to conservation charities. No, 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 no. I'm afraid I don't believe that sentiment at all. You're either for it or against it. There's no middle ground here. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts on today's uh, installment. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment and subscribe. Catch you tomorrow and goodbye for now.